All right, guys. Uh, today I'm going to decide, or I've decided to show the postcards that I have in my collection. Um, several different images that you'll see. Um, some uh, duplicates uh, for certain reasons. Um, some will be a little more unique. Uh, this will be uh, likely my second to last video of the year. Uh, I do plan on showing my year-end review sometime maybe later on this week. Um, but that'll be a fun video. I haven't done one of those before, but I think I've had a pretty good year um, hobby-wise. And I'd like to kind of recap it and then maybe see how I did, you know, compared to other years or uh, maybe in the future. I think that'd be cool. The first one here is, is a really unique piece. Um, this is uh, a, a postcard that maybe uh, has some interesting history. Um, the reason why I have it is actually because of what's on the back. Uh, it's in this this mat, so if anyone knows how to take this out of the mat, that would be amazing. Um, but you can watch uh, my video on this postcard if you wanted to. Um, it's probably a few years old by now, but this is definitely a really cool piece in my collection. Vintage hang signature right there, dated from 1936. Um, this postcard is quite rare. really do not see it come up often. Um, and you may see it later. This is another really cool postcard. Uh, this was the, the Yellow Hall fan postcard. Usually you're seeing uh, these signed. This one was actually sent through the mail. Um, and uh, it says that they wanted a, uh, a postcard of Ray B Boone? Ray Bond? I, I don't, I can't recognize that name. Um, and uh, they bought this one, um, you know, because it would have been better than what looks like Ron Turley. I don't know, maybe it's making a joke. Um, but this was sent around the, um, the 1976 World Series, which was really cool. You can see it postmarked there, 76. Very light. Um, the stamp cost nine cents. And I um, thought that one was really cool. This was a gift. Someone gave that one to me, which is very nice. Um, this is a signed, uh, 64 to present Hall of Fame postcard. Not sure when he actually signed this postcard, but as you can see, um, there's a little streaking in the autograph. These postcards are printed on very, very glossy cardstock. So, uh, s athletes or signers that tend to smudge their signature, like Hank unfortunately did, um, these are, are definitely prone to smudging. Uh, this is a really nice one. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the Art View postcard. Um, these were stopped, be, or they stopped being produced in 56 when they switched to the yellow ones. Uh, but you can see that uh, this was actually sent in 1956 in Cleveland. Um, and, uh, this was, I, I bet, when Hank was, you know, working with the, with the Indians, and he signed the postcard. So we can date that signature right to 1956. Very cool. This next one was another gift um, from a family, mem a, family mem a family member of mine. Uh, 1980 Perez Steel signed PSA DNA. Uh, these can get pretty pricey because they're actually quite hard to find. Um, I love how big uh, Hank signed this one too. It's really, really nice. This is the only press deal I have in my collection, but each of these are numbered to 10,000, it seems. Nice ornate postcard on the back. It'd, it'd be interesting to see if any of these were actually used. I haven't seen a press steel uh, postcard that was actually used, but I really like the back of it. Really nice. Uh, now we're getting some really cool team postcards. Um, this is 1935 Tigers. You'll see them pictured on, on pretty much all these postcards here. Uh, this is from a cafe called Greenfields that was in Detroit. Um, and as you can see, this was used and signed and uh, postmarked 1939. Um, Got a few pieces of tape on there, and the postcard's not like in great shape, but I really like the image. I like the two uh, illustrated tigers on the side. I think they're really cool. Hank is 
um, on the right side, second row. Uh, and he's, he's in that spot for a uh, couple of the other photographs that you'll see here in a second. Uh, definitely the, the rarest postcard in my collection. Uh, this is a real photo postcard. Uh, Hank is right here. This I got at the National. You've probably seen it if you've been following my channel. Um, the back, the reason why it's a one is because the back has scrapbook residue, but otherwise unused, which is very cool. Oops, a little, little cat hair on there, but a beautiful image. These are quite, quite rare. The next is um, another team postcard. The reason why this got an A, I believe, is because, um, as you can see, like on this left border here, I think it's it's been cut or trimmed or something. I don't know. But the back is blank. There are two variations of this. this is the black and white. There's also a sepia that I, that I need um, for the complete postcard run. It's also one postcard um, that I simply just do not have. That's quite quite hard to find it seems um, but Hank is still in that same position there you can see it's pretty much the same picture um, they even like list the bad boy which is really funny somewhere in there and the trainer is the top left which I think is funny too uh, last team postcard so I guess they just issued a lot of postcards um, based upon you know this 1935 uh, World Series team um, Hank was also on the 1945 uh, World Champion Detroit Tigers, but or 40, one I don't remember which 40 I think, um, but they didn't make any postcards sort of commemorating that, so I thought that was pretty interesting. This one is is rarely seen. On the uh, as you can see, it is used on the left is actually printed on the postcard. Um, but it's just a, it's an advertisement of sorts for um, a new Dodge that, uh, you know, a Dodge automobile that was coming out. But this is post start postmarked 1935. I think that's very cool. Another look at the front. The last one is uh, my last pickup of the year. Um, this is the f same postcard that you saw in the beginning, the first, um, but it is unused. This was bought in a collection. Uh, I acquired the card um, very recently. I really like it a lot. Usually you see these postmarks between like 1936 and 1939. Michael has a couple of these too, um, but you really don't see them unused often because we're, we're under the impression that Hank you know, sent these off to, to fans if they requested his signature or something like that, and you really don't see um, these unused, you know, really for that reason. All right, guys. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm aiming to get um, my year-end review video um, going probably Friday or Saturday. I'll be back to work full-time Monday, uh, let's hope, and, um, and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys, for watching.